going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. My name is Glorious Mischief, and you're probably thinking, wait, <laughs> crumbling ruins of Ferumazula, like, come on, we want to do that? What about the healing tree and all that stuff? One second, because there's something important that we have to do before the DLC is released, and in the timeline that you live in, that DLC is already released, but I didn't want to have an immediate release of DLC content because I felt like that's rude to the other players. I don't want to be taking you out of that if you're going to be playing this game. I'm going to give you a week to play it. Play it. You've got a week. And after a week, <sighs> I'm coming for it. But either way, we have to do a specific part of a quest line in order to get access to the DLC area anyway. So I wanted to show you guys that. Basically, you need to have uh, uh, progressed your quest line with Whiteface Fari for a little bit of time. Um, eventually, he's going to give you a cloth. Come here to the church of... Uh, what is this church called? Sorry. Uh, you get the blood of uh, Lord of Blood's favor right here. I'll show you where this is. The Church of Inhibition. Uh, it's right up here in this, like, in the Frenzy Flame area. Um, yeah. And then you gotta come back and talk to Vare. And he's gonna give us something very important. All right, Lyurnia. We haven't been in Lyurnia in a hot minute. Ugh. And don't worry. I'll get back to crumbling Farum Azula soon. Because I need them plus eights as soon as I can possibly get them. I still need 16 plus eights. Oh, Lord. To get this build to max. Um, and then I need another ancient dragon smithing stone. Yay. Yay for farming. Hooray indeed. All right, let's talk to Vari real quick because he's going to give us what we need. Ah, my lambkin. Hey. You've completed your final trial. I did. And with this... You are a formal inductee. Oh! A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in yeah. the establishment of a new dynasty. Assist! Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Ready? Here's my finger. Take my finger. And... Gross blood. Oh, that heavens. ghost is really not helping me right Clench now. Your teeth or something. <laughs> Sorry. Bloody finger. Never forget that feeling of agony. I won't. For it is what binds you to Luminary Moog. To all of us. <laughs> You have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Mari is creepy. Oh, another thing. <laughs> you gotta talk to him again. You should have this. That's what we need. A pure blood knight's medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog. That's we gotta go have an audience I've with. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. Well, thank you. But you mustn't use it just yet. Mustn't. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. <laughs> Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. Mmm, the divinity, you say? Endure a little longer. All right, Vari. Get ready to be mad at me because I'm not gonna endure any longer. Let me grab that. Where is it? Man, I swear, the the system in this game for what's important and what is not is bananas. It is in here somewhere. Let's go down here and grab... There it is. Ready? Let's go. Right in front of Ari. I love it, too. <laughs> so, once you use that, it takes you to Mohwin Palace. Which is, I would say, a pretty late game area. Uh, there's other ways to access it, um, but this is one of the easier ways to do it, and definitely the easiest way to do it early game. I don't know why I decided to go back in there. I don't have to go that way at all. So, I won't go that way. But we have to go and fight Moog, and I showed you me fighting Moog earlier, um, where I fought the one that was really deep underground. This is a different one. Hey, we got the map right away. Thanks. Very nice. Oh, someone's still chasing me somewhere. I can't check the map. I will check it later. But in this area, 
are two of the best like rune farming areas. So if you just want to come around and grab like, I don't know, uh, I think that some of the more efficient rune farming ways, it's like uh, twenty thousand runes um, every every run. Then it's easy to do it here, uh, especially if you have AOEs. AOEs do really well in this area. Uh, this is not the rune farm area, but I just want to show you how many souls you get from these guys. Not much. 300. They're not worth dealing with. So before y'all get all grumpy at me, being like, Brother, why aren't you fighting them? Because they don't give us anything that we need. They give us 300 runes. Meh. We're not here for 300 runes. <laughs> we are here for a Newman's room. And your boy is a sucker for a good item. Um, but I know that there's definitely a plus eight in here, or a couple plus eights. I think a, like a chest of three plus eight in this area. Pardon? Pardon? Um, and I would love to get those plus eights because it's going to simplify my life immensely. Oh my lord! He's exploded! He's blown up! Alright, I'm just going to grab this. I think if I... Oh, no. Nope. Sometimes if you grab the items, they all just kind of wake up and decide that they're suddenly sentient. Uh, but those guys didn't even care. They're just doing their thing, baby. Ooh, let me grab these. Pardon, 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 pardon. Yeah, I'm way later in the game than I need to be to access this. Um, because with Vari, you can access this basically when you're in the Urnia, which is awesome. Uh, and, but there is these boys in here. Um, there are these kind of like sanguine jerks, for lack of a better term. Uh, you fight them in uh, the churches that that Vari at, um, and they're just they're rude. They do some damage, as you can see. Let's heal up. So yeah, if you come across these early games, they're gonna kick your butt, and they a keep coming. They just don't stop. They're just living the dream of just constant. Constant coming oh, back. Gee. Hello, friend. Are you here as a customer? Yes. Let's see if he's got anything. <gasps> Ooh, I am a sucker for having all the things I can. I'll take him. Thank you. Oh, my stomach. That's okay. You don't need to apologize, bud. You're doing great. See, comes right back. So you just gotta keep on burying this boy underground. Luckily, if you just keep attacking, it is not that hard to just crush him. Um, and then blood works. Another 6k. You can sit here and farm them here. It's not the most efficient farming route by any stretch of the imagination. So I wouldn't do it. But if you wanted to, you can sit in here and just farm them up because they'll just keep coming back as much as you want them to. But yeah, you just kind of want to wake away. Ooh, spending stone eight. Three! That's exactly the ones I wanted. Yay! And. Oh, there's blood. Blood is yucky. There's the blood loss. I love that it's like so excited. Blood loss! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> you got blood loss! <laughs> in in um, Dark Souls 3, when you get blood loss, there's like exclamation points and like excitedness, and it's hilarious, dude. You're like, are we really celebrating this? It feels like uh, it's something I don't want to celebrate at all. I know you're behind me. Oh, don't throw. Oh, he did some damage. Look at that damage. So yeah, that's what you want to avoid with him, because when, once he starts doing damage to you, ooh, he can be flopping. Uh, but you just can't be tentative. Because you can stagger him, and if you can stagger him, then you can crush him. So, might as well. Don't do it. Leap! <laughs> but yeah, the 6k every time is really not too shabby, you know? We take that all day. Because just going through there and like going at a regular pace, 20,000 runes. Great. Um, but that's not the bread and butter that we're looking for. We're looking for something a little bit more lucrative. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm not going to show you that right now. I, will sh I might show it to you later. But what I am going to show you is what we came here to do. It has to deal with a very grumpy boy who's guarding a very important egg uh but yeah basically there's a bunch of like 
albinorics? I guess they're not albinorics. They're like the weird fisheye people. Um, that are up on a cliff. Ooh, there's another ancient dragon spinning stone in that area. I want it. I might start some trash. So a lot of times you can just run in there and just grab. Sorry, I've started a lot of trash. Please don't, don't start trash with me. I apologize for the trash I've started. <laughs> oh, he leaped! Yeah, give him another. Oh! Okay, we're not gonna get killed. We're gonna be great. We're gonna be very cautious. Oh, look at him go! Yeah, those are hilarious attacks. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, he's just in range of that. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, a lot of times with this game, I will just kind of like uh, sneak past these guys, but we're high enough level coming in here. I think I can clear them all out because that is a really clutch item in the chest on all of those guys. Uh, I say I can clear them all out and I have yet to prove myself. But I think we got them. At this point, we've made our way through the most difficult ones. Whoops. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. Oh, they have the funniest attack. Please. Jeez. That was so much damage from that one boy. Okay. So, the nice part about this is that so this area here is the, the whole path we need to do. We need to go up there to get to that. But what we want is... I'm pretty sure this is an ancient dragon smithing stone. And if I'm wrong... I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is, that's exactly what that is. Yes. Somber Ancient Dragons. Sorry, so it's uh, not exactly crucial for us with this build, but it's a really good item if you are going to be running a somber build, um, which with the DLC, I'm very tempted to try out some other stuff. I'm not going to probably do it on this playthrough because I am doing the... I am uh, running just the starter weapon build through the entirety of the game, but, <clears throat> you know... For the DLC, I'm going to be trying some stuff on my free time, dude, for fun. Um, okay, so we can rest, and then we can head into the actual meat and potatoes of this. Oh, sorry. I hope you didn't feel like that was a waste of time, because it wasn't a waste of time to me, baby. Somber smithing stones are important. Ah. Oh. So, the mode we met down in the pits, he was tough. He was tough. But this boy's going to be even tougher. He's going to be way harder. And see that egg? That's how you get into the DLC. So if you're curious, that's how you go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trigger this. Just in case I die to him so I can get there real fast. I say just in case. <laughs> He's really hard. Ugh. We get to enjoy a fun cutscene before our panic-induced flingings. It's so gross, but it's so pretty, these games. So the blood from his beloved is what Moog needs to rise. Dearest Mikola. <laughs> You must abide alone a while. No. It kind of makes you sad about killing him. Really. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. He is an awesome character model. Also, voice acting top notch once again. All right, Moog. Coming for that number one spot. Okay. 
No. Okay, so it's nice that we got to fight him in the, in the depth because... Whoa! <laughs> I was about to say, we learned his moveset and we're good against him, but I just got totally wrecked. <laughs> I couldn't even get a single heal off. Steak of America. Oh, the shame. Oh, that's death. Woo! We can't dodge it. Ooh. And... Oh, I didn't realize how low I was. All right. I feel like I've given him a fair try. And he's just been kicking my butt. And maybe this build is just not optimized for him. But I don't care. At this point, Moog, you can take whatever summon I want to give you because you're a pain in the butt. Whatever they did to buff him, it's insane. Seriously. So much damage. And he's just constantly attacking. So, we're going to be constantly attacking. We're going to bring him some energy too. Because he's been a huge pain in my ass. <laughs> No. Yeah, we we come pump out so much damage now. Love that. Love that. Hey, Mo. Yeah. How does it feel to have someone basically cheating to attack you? Yeah, that's right, Mo. That's right. How does it feel? Because you're not even gonna be able to get to your second phase, bud. That's right. <laughs> Such a cheesy fight with the mimic here. Don't even care. He was such a pain in the butt for me. So, whatever, dude. You're dead. Ugh. Thank you, Mimic. My lord, I can get on with my life. Thank you, Mo. 420,000 souls is a lot of souls. Yeah, so I know I said I was going to do everything with uh, just this, and I got frustrated. So, pardon my frustrations. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Ugh. Let's do some levels. Um, beep, 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 beep. All endurance. Four levels of endurance. Ah, <sighs> Mo. That dude is such a jerk. But yeah, that's what you need to do to get to the DLC, and everyone's all pumped up about it. Heck yeah, brother! Um, so yeah, in the time that you're watching this, the DLC's out, and you're enjoying life and loving the DLC. And to be fair, I'm probably playing it too, but I don't want to release anything. DLC wise for at least a week because I just don't want to ruin it, you know? And I know that there's going to be creators out there who are doing that, and that just feels so cheap to you guys. Um, playing through a DLC of a Souls game, or even just like the first playthrough of a Souls game, it, it's something that you should really enjoy. So I'm not going to be taking that from anyone. So you know it's not coming from me. But we're going to go back to Harum Azula. And we're going to do a little bit more diving into the depths real quick. All right. I never thought that I'd come back to crumbling Faramazula and be like, oh, sweet, sweet Faramazula. <laughs> but Moog has been such a pain in my butt. Ooh, I was way too far. Way too far. All right. Heal up. And a little blood for you. And let's just finish you up with a little blood. Oh, thank you, friend. You were worthy. Oh, stone six. Very nice. I need to go back to round table hold soon and level up because I think... Hello, another one of your friends. Let's heal up and be a match. Um, I think that I've got enough... Um, oh, I thought I could... Nope! Uh, I think I've got enough... Jeez! I didn't realize you had the flamies. And the, the, the swirly slash. These guys are rude. No wonder people have a hard time down here. Have some of that. And some of this. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I might actually have enough smithing stones to go in there and take care of all that stuff. Ooh, hello. Um, but for right now, I'm going to hold off on that because we've just... I don't know. I feel like we've done enough power leveling for a second. And I just got... Ooh, another one? Jeez. No! Oh, my lord! Man, I was playing well earlier, and I feel like after Moog, Moog just messed with my speed. Moog was... You know, I feel like also when you get kind of frustrated with these games, 
everything just goes downhill, and I got frustrated with Miller. I will admit it. The boy was a jerk. How did I not... How did I not backstab? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, once you get kind of frustrated with these games, they become ten times hard. I got a little frustrated with Moog, so... Mm, sorry. Uh, and, you know, you saw exactly what happened. That he's so easy with the summon, which is why I'm trying to avoid the summon these games, because I feel like... I really don't want to just, like, plow through the fun of these games. Um, so I won't, moving forward, but let me tell you. He killed me, like, ten times, and I was like, eh. You know? I'm not about just sitting here when I've got the solution right in front of me. Um... But yeah, moving forward, I probably won't be doing it. Ooh, peaks. Peaks. Friend. Never. Oh, look at him. Can I sneak up on him? Can I stab him? Can I stab him in the back? Again! Stab your item. Oh, he's flaming. Ooh. Heal. No thanks. Ooh, he's bananas. Ooh, he is bananas. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, fine. We got him. Ooh. That would have been a problem. All right, cool. But we made it through. Ooh. This area is awesome. Awesomely difficult, to be fair. But, nope. I don't really want to deal with any of your Husa fudge. Cool. I'm gonna just totally cheese these guys because I'm just annoyed with getting murdered. <laughs> I say as I am totally about to get murdered. No! Oh my gosh. I'm down to my last heal. Oh, I don't have any bleed left. Okay. Ooh, could you feel the tension, babe? I was feeling it. <laughs> I felt it. I definitely felt it. Um, ooh, I can just go down there. But I'm so close to not having enough. Well, I don't have any healing, so... Ooh, and there's a friend there. Don't want to deal with that friend. So, can we not deal with that friend? Don't mind me, but I got nothing for you. But I think if I can just go up those stairs. Yeah. Let me go up those stairs real quick. Because that's where our out of grace is, I'm pretty sure. Just clutch. Ooh. Ooh, let me tell you. It's been a little spicy over here today. I feel like this um this recording session has gotten me to some of the harder parts of the game. And it's definitely making me feel it, because. I know that we probably could level up. We could do a little power leveling. I could go over there and get more. I could get to level 150, but I, you know, we're close enough. We're close enough. <laughs> <coughs> All right, we've rested. I'm gonna have to, f I could fight my way through. I'm gonna fight my way through at least one of those guys. This guy is very hard to avoid. You and your fires. Don't appreciate your fires. How did he get around the corner? Very impressive corner get around. All right, cool. Got to fight my way through a couple of these boys because they're just kind of unavoidable. This boy. We get his stomps on. His little stompies. Get your stomps on. Don't. Don't do it. Ooh, we should heal. Heels. Oh, the flames of a thousand dragons! Yeah, somehow they can just wrap around corners. Ridiculous. Wow, I was so close to death. Uh, probably should just run through these guys because they take a lot of doing to get through. I'm just not really about the whole, let's go ahead and lose all of our healing by the time we get to anything of merit, you know? Hmm? I give up. I've already gone up. Okay, so I've done that side. Oh! It's the duels. It's this. I totally forgot that this was here. 
Nope. These guys have a shared health bar, and they're insanely hard. Okay. Yep. They're insane. And they are, like, merciless. They do so much damage to you, and they they're just having two bosses in the arena is so hard. Okay. Well, we know what we gotta do. We gotta get in there and deal with these boys. If I can do that with max health, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more luck. Okay. Time to take out the duo. The duo, the Godskin duo, is actually guarding some really good stuff. Um, the They have a uh, bell that lets you get smithing stones 7 and 8, I think, unlimitedly. Maybe 6s or 7s, I'm not sure. Um, but that's really nice to have, especially for... Um, swapping out builds and trying new stuff, like, it's really cool. Ooh, let me get my zero souls back. Ooh, good start, good start, gotta love it. Run in, take him out. Yeah, stay close. Ooh, jeez. Heals. Double heals. And then dodge and take him out. Alright, we got Skinny Boy. Skinny Boy's done. Junkies. Junky boy is going bananas. Bleed. Okay. Perfect. Heal. And then rush back in. He's gonna do his fat rolls. How did he pause the fat roll? I've never seen him pause the fat roll before. Okay, he's bringing back his friend, but we got perfect timing on that. There comes a little guy. Little guy. Let's get a bleed off on him. Oh, he's doing a lot more damage than I wanted him to. Alright, heals. Oh, don't. And then we run in. Stay in close. Alright, we got him down. We're doing great. Last one. It's gonna be chunks. But we can do it. He's just got that much health left. No matter what he pops up with, it's just that tiny little bar left. Come on. There he is. Okay. Dodge. Ooh, I almost got killed right away. He's bringing his friend back. We... Oh, that's suboptimal placement. Nope. Missed. Alright, heals. Itchy eye. Not great. Oh, I missed another bleed. Okay, little guy's right there, though. Okay, I can hit the little guy. Perfect. Oh, he's running away from me. Yes! Yes! We got the gods can do it. So that bell bearing lets us uh, level up our stuff, which is great. It gives us a bunch of runes, which is awesome. Look at those guys. They were waiting out there the whole time. <laughs> they were waiting to kill us the whole time. Whoo! All right. Well, I am going to spend some time leveling up some equipment, and I am going to leave this episode here. Thank you for coming with me. I got real frustrated there with Morgoth, but we got our way through it. Or not Morgoth. Um, what's his name? Uh, Lord of Blood, dude. Um, but we got our way through it. We're fine. Uh, but thanks for joining me on this one, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace! We're Cause we're coming in hot, let's eat some biscuits Let's get glorious, glorious